365 and a quarter Earth days equate to one full year. These days may seem like eternity, but it's swift as a storm leaving its footprints on Earth. I hear noises ringing in my ears. My mind is weary and my heart beating. I search for silence. I search for solace. I think it's time to come back home. Some things are still the same, unchanging. Like my name, which is still Jessica, and my dark brown eyes, which remain true to their color. As well as this long, arduous walk to my school. I think that even when you love what you're doing, you still get exhausted once monotony sets in. You might need a break, or even maybe welcome some changes. Looking forward may be good, or even looking back. As I notice some mother and child alight from a car, flashbacks of memories come to my head. The days when we would greet the Lord a good morning in the chapel. The days when my mom would kiss me as we part ways for the day. Even simple things like this have established in me a strong foundation made of love. Love for the Father above, and love for the ones who have raised me to be who I am now. From the house of prayer, I continue on, and as I walk, my pace slows to a stop. When I find myself looking at a familiar statue, the tower by the flowery garden, the Augustinian time capsule. I came in in 1975. It was Miss Einstein who asked me to come over. The faculty members in the high school department was only composed of 12 teachers. I had it by Father Dan Pozo. You know, at the time, Ducit was still being erected. The, the field was still a cogon. And uh, yes, we had to walk all the way from Pasay Road. San Agustin had only around three buildings. And grade 7 still included in the high school department. We have two sections in grade 7, one section in each year level. I love it here. And I am glad they asked me to come over and work again. I remember my first years here. This was where my childhood became a memory to treasure forever. Where I established long-lived, true friendships. Friendship. The virtue that most Augustinians, like me, took to heart and carry out to this day. School education is vital in one's child development. And what are this development? Physical, social, emotional, spiritual, and intellectual. We believe that we should work together to bring out the best in each and every child. First and foremost, we love children and we are committed to give this love to them. So we build the strong foundation for our preschoolers to become ready for more tasks that will come their way as they go to higher level of learning.
place with the same grade school department is considered as one of the best elementary schools in the country today. DepEd is recognized as, as one of the excellent schools in basic education, especially the grade school department because it was granted level 3 accreditation status by the Federation of Association of Accrediting Association in the Philippines, the umbrella organization of all accrediting associations in the country. We are accredited by PASCO last uh, November 2006 and we were granted five years accreditation status instantly. The Department of Education has recognized us as one of the best elementary schools on account of our outstanding performance in international competitions as well as in the local competitions in the areas of mathematics, science, journalism, and sports. Marble steps and glass greet my eyes, and almost immediately, I am drawn into the theater's warm, welcoming atmosphere. A few steps further, and I find myself gazing upon a familiar mosaic of faces that seem to tell stories. As I slip past the doors of this theater, I find in the midst of the darkness subtle movements of the timid ones. But as soon as the music plays, along with the light that peeked through from outside, their eyes light up upon hearing the first crack from their shells. And movements slowly transform into graceful struggles. Though they don't achieve flight when their arms flail for the first time, the cracks widen, consequently breaking the shells and setting them free. Now they see a bigger stage where they can dance freely. The transformation may still be in progress, but it will soon be complete. As I watch the dance of the practicing students, I smile as I remember my own transformation that expanded my world and toughened my wings. It's in this theater I became who I am. Even in your old age, and 
It's an individual sport, yet you also work within a team setting. It made things easier, much easier. All the training, all the hard work, all the obstacles. And you know, um, when you do things because you love it, because it's your passion, then it's easy to reach your goals. And the Olympics was a goal I'd never really thought of having, but it's a dream come true for me. And hopefully, um, with all that hard work and teaching, I can produce uh, a champion, a world champion, or maybe someday on the here in this school. Our training here in San Jose State is that when our students graduate from here, they know how to face reality. They can accept challenges and nobody can just put them in one corner. I decide to wrap everything up with a visit to my high school teachers, who are not just people who teach facts limited to the books, but who are also mentors role models, and inspirational figures who guided me through my high school journey. They have been my friends and my second parents. From them, I learned what is beyond just the fundamental facts. I learned values that I should live by to be a leader who is humble and patient. As memories of marching drills and soccer games fill my thoughts, Along with the reminiscence of my short journey, my gaze turns skyward as my soul feels light, no longer as tired as I was before. And yet, within myself, I seek for more. And then I remember there is one more thing I have to see, one more place I ought to go before I leave. I enter the room and I become surprised at what I see. A gathering of people in the room's lively ambiance. A glance here and there and I see a few familiar individuals. Like me, these people have come here in search for the solace that I too have sought. Then suddenly, very familiar faces entered the room and everyone turned their attention to them. And so we paid respect and showed our gratitude to them. And together we smiled while stories of old are once again retold. Like a family it seemed, the father sharing life lessons and the children telling stories of what happened in school. As these scenes unfold, flashbacks of good memories revisit my mind and bring with them realizations that 365 and a quarter Earth days equate to one full year. These days may seem like eternity, but it's swift as a storm leaving its footprints on Earth. In a home, people will come and go as years pass by but such is life, as a child grows and seeks a world of his own. And during this long journey, when the child gets weary, he'll search for silence, he'll long for comfort. And there's no better place for a treat than the home he grew up in. I'm grateful to this home that had humble beginnings, this home that will soon grow on to become a Christian community committed to the building up of the City of God.
transferred to San Agustin because I wanted to belong to a school that was very supportive of sports. And San Agustin produced not only Philippine champions, but also world beaters. So if you're an Agustinian, you have to be a champion. And now with, with all your new sports facilities, I know that you guys and girls are going to get better because it, you have a nice environment and you have all the support from your teachers and faculty. San Agustin has taught me to become a better man. I am what I am today because of San Agustin. Hi, uh, being an alumni. 